Hey guys, this is Applicable Dave. Today we're going to do another unboxing. This time it's going to be for the exclusive Halo 4 Trigger Stereo headset exclusively from Triton. Now if you haven't seen my previous video of the overview of this product, make sure you click the link. I'll provide that right now and that'll give you more information. That'll probably answer a lot of your questions if you do have them. Now this item was just released and it was retailed for $59.99 and you can probably find it at your local GameStop or you can go visit their website, links down below. You can also pick this item up at other participating online stores, just keep in mind that the pricing may vary. Please note too that this is officially licensed by Xbox 360 and is not intended for other consoles. The contents of this box is a wired headset, an inline audio controller with breakaway, analog audio adapter, a headset connector cable, a quick start guide, and a user guide. Some of the features include a durable and flexible performance microphone with mute, a separate game and voice volume control. It also includes everything you need to connect to your Xbox 360. It also has pre precision balance, 40 millimeter speakers with a neodymium magnets providing superior and sound quality. Other features include having a 14 foot cable, used to be powered, and also an adapter that's included. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this thing up. I'm grab my knife and very carefully cutting away. Come on, there you go. As long as you get it started. And come on, there you go. One more, that'll do it, okay. All right, how exciting. Pull that tab. There we go. Very good quality boxing. Just pull this right out. There we go. A little pops there, and nothing else there. I'm gonna put that to the side. All right, let's see. Move this real quick. What's in here? Look at that. I bet that's the card with the code. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Pretty standard manuals and warnings and whatnot. So here's a card. Free Halo 4 UNSC logo t-shirt for Xbox Live. Put that right there. And here's the manual. It's kind of thick. It has all the uh, items that come with it. And also it tells you how to connect it to... Uh, your television, whether it's HDMI, VGA, all that good stuff. Some warning paperwork. Yeah. And I think this is a quick start guide. Numerous ways. It's a pamphlet. Yeah, numerous ways to connect to your Xbox 360. There we go. And some more information. Stuff like that, so that's it for the little pouch. There it is. Okay, so I'm guessing this is what you guys have been waiting for. Look at that, it's, it has a beautiful design. Can't wait to fully unbox this. So, here's the accessories, it has all the adapters and stuff. Let's go ahead and try to open this. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. And then focus this. Okay. Nothing in there. Put that away. Okay. So the first cable we have, I think, is the it's the headset connector cable. Yep. Sure enough. Yep. Just just to focus on that. So you hook one end to the uh, inline controller, and uh, the other side to the Xbox controller itself and you can tell by the signature thing there just make sure you read the instructions so that's that cable right there the next one is the adapter all right and this is the analog audio adapter and you use this depending on whether or not you use an HDMI cable or not 
plug that into your Xbox and connect those to the other wires for RCA audio. Now let's go ahead and attempt to unbox this. Seems like there's a lot of wire in here. And pull everything out of the packaging. There we go. And that's empty right there. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Now here are the Halo 4 trigger stereo headsets. And you can see the UNSC logo, and on the other side we have the Infinity logo. And we have Halo 4 right there. And the rotating ear cups for maximum comfort, along with the durable and elegant microphone. Okay. Tuck it up right there, and you can extend it. Come on, like so. And on the other side, like so as well. It's lightweight. The ear cups. You see the UNSC logo right there. And the uh, the cushioning is very comfortable and very soft. Also in the head rail. And we have the 3.5 millimeter jack. For something relatively small, it seems to be built very strong. Have the screws right there the left and right indicators right there. Put that to the side and lastly we have the inline controller. I'm going to try to unravel this or make some sense out of this chaos. Okay. So let's start with this end first with the controller. As soon as I get the wrapping out. And as you can see here on the side we have two separate controls. We have one for the gaming volume and the other one for the chat volume right there. You can adjust it individually. You have the Halo 4 logo with the Triton logo right up there at the top. I don't know if you can see it. On the other side we have the uh, jack for the headset connector cable and the mute button which is standard and this is where you plug in your headset and it's really lightweight. I don't think it's going to be a problem pulling the wire down or the headset down whilst you play. And on the other end we have two connectors. We have the USB, standard USB plug right there. Okay, and the RCA cables. Plug that in and the adapters underneath them. I'll probably have a separate video just to show the different ways you can connect this to your Xbox depending on your setup. but. This is it for the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions about this item, please be sure to leave a comment down below. Or you can uh, tweet me, twitter.com slash adavable. Or you can check out my recent video where I did an in-depth uh, overview of this product and all the specifications for it. But other than that, I hope you liked it. I hope you subscribe. And I hope to catch you guys later. Be sure to watch out for the other unboxings and other reviews that I'm going to be having pretty soon. Until then, I'll catch you at the next video. Bye-bye.